Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing Super Liminal again. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that correctly. Um, if what we did last time was uh, well, we played it, and this game is basically based off from what I got last time is yours, trapped in a dream, and uh, everything goes around with your perspective. I'm not sure if this means anything significant, but this goes an hour ahead every time you go into this room. Though I'm still not quite sure what's happening in this game. Oh. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Hmm. Okay. This is not creepy at all. Um, do I just keep going? I'm not sure. I feel a feeling I'm meant to keep going. Wait, so Monday murder, Tuesday murder, Wednesday murder, Thursday murder, Friday murder, Saturday m big murder, and Saturday beans. Right. If there's something I am missing. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how dark it is. If you've always been wondering why there's a lack of horror games by channel, I don't do well with horror. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. But not when I want to play, I don't know, like a fun game. <laughs> um. Right. That's blood. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, someone just had a really nice jam sandwich. And I'm jogging here now. I don't like the dark. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like what I can't see. Oh, why? Oh, as I don't like how eerily quiet it is. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Right. I 
I don't like how there's suddenly blood and it's getting really dark. Okay. Yeah, that I that that I did not like. Please don't tell me this will be jump scares or like actual horror. Or is it gonna be like, just like a psychological one? Oh please don't. Door gonna close. Door's gonna close. Oh, I don't like this. Can I turn the brightness off? <laughs> also, I'm doing this also so I can get hear the comfort of music. Um no. Guess four is the way to go. Oh, I don't like this. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Um, I feel like... That... Isn't quite my fault. As it seems, I can't really interact with anything either. I like it when I can move around things. I like the puzzles. I don't like this. something I'm going to do with this. Okay, I can't knock them off. What am I supposed to do? Because all these are like nailed on. Unless it's just like a lie. Though I'm not sure I like that. Oh. That wasn't there before. Oh no! Put that there. I'm going to take my comfort with me, which is a light. I like the light. Even if it's a red, ominous red. I don't want to leave it here though. Fine, I'll plop it there. Because this room doesn't look too scary. Okay, it's still the vending machine. That's cool. Go for some green soda. Okay, so. They want the light. brick wall. Ooh, 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 hello, what was that? Oh, nothing, okay. Why 
I've got the feeling someone's above me. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> get this. What am I supposed to do? Right. Oh, okay. That's a knife. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. Yeah, is no one going to actually elaborate on the blood or someone's nice, like, sandwich? Or is it just going to be left up in the air? Oh, that's an idea. I'm guessing that's... That's like a thing for Ikea. Oh. Oh, I like this. This seems nice. It's got music. It's very nice in here now. It's, it's light. It looks a lot less scary now. A lot less I'm going to get murdered. Which is good. I don't want to be murdered. Um, cloud insert. Right. Oh, I liked the music. But hey, at least there's lights. And there's a lift, which means we're probably going to get out of the subconscious and there's avocados. Nice. Avocados, yes, enjoy avocados. Please be going out of my subconscious and not in my subconscious. Because the only thing I'm getting from this is my subconscious is fucked up. Oh no. I think we're in a dream still. Come on. Seems normal. Nothing seems to be out of place. Maybe I can get back to having fun with the puzzles. There we go. This is nice. I like this. I don't like that. Why are they st stapled to the floor? Um. I will say this door. I'm not sure what's the actual thing I'm meant to use, but it'll work. It's a very small and thin door. Or is that just me? Um, that says one. Yeah, I'm getting away from that. Um. Uh. Um. I 
can tell you I have 99 points, but a door ain't one, apparently. Oh. Okay. Apparently I can just do like the dominoes effect with doors. Good to know, I suppose. Oh, okay. Is there something I'm going to press you which is not going to fling something at me? Oh, okay. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Oh my god. I'm just making more of them. Okay, make the stop. Please, get me out of here. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do it. What the hell? It works. Oh, not this again. to use these like footballs or something. That's just a cliff. Right, okay. Closer, right? Now, I'm just, I'm just making a mess. I just want to do it. What happens if I... Around here. And then just 
stop making them behind this. Like that, yes. Ha 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 ha. Oh Jesus. Come on. Come on. I believe in this apple. Why are they turning green? Does not look right. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes, there we go. I have a apple here now. It's, apparently I've got quantum apples. But... Too small. Grrr. Okay, this is a problem. So this is a big, big problem. Wait, I can't make any more. Oh no. Can I reset? <laughs> no. I can't even get out. Wait. Damn you, Apple! I'm not even a big fan of apples either. I don't know what to do. I could duplicate that, but this fan. I'm not a fan of. I am genuinely lost. Can't gain more of these. If I duplicate this, it's just gonna, well, duplicate this, and do nothing. Yep. Hmm. Is there like a light I need to pick up? Or is it like a trick thing up here, like, uh, like pick up the door? this bench or this sign might be a chance. Come on. I believe in you little knobs. <laughs> it 
pulling at straws here, literally. <laughs> it's so tiny at this point. They probably, have the, they probably don't have the sufficient mass to actually do what's actually needed to be done. Oh yes, that one went far. Yes, yes. Now. It's closer. No. Yes, yes. There's not even going to be a sufficient mass for this. But I have, I believe. No! No! There was a dream. There was a dream. I bet it's something really simple as well, and I'm just an idiot. Seriously, nothing on the other side. <sighs> like, <laughs> whoa! Oh, okay. Well, let's go for round two. Okay. that way. I need you this way. Come on. You can do this. I believe in you. This is what you were destined for. You are the chosen one. So small at this point.
this way. Yes. No, no. I believe in you, you just have to work with me here. What? No. <sighs> this is not going to be really interesting at all to watch, is it? Come on. Please. This is not even a joke anymore. I'm just hoping this is the actual way to do it. Is that working? Or is it just making a massive pile? I'm going to take my time. No. This is not going to be fun to watch at all. Trust me, if it's not fun to watch, it's probably not as anywhere as near as it is actually do. Come on. No. It's, it's the progress is so minuscule. It's actually aggravating. This will make the most patient of all and it finishes there. I just searched it up, and apparently what you're meant to do is that. That's what I was supposed to do. It's high time. I'm angry at myself more than the game. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. 
Right. There we go. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Right. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs or look good. Right. Now it's apples. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is back to one o'clock and it's 7 a.m. I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, I enjoyed this and I'm probably going to record it tomorrow. So yeah, goodbye for now. Bye.